Naomi, you didn't. <laughs> Naomi, why did you do that? I ran out of the room and just took off down the hall. <laughs> I still couldn't tell why I was crying. It's like I was scared, or maybe I was happy, or maybe I just lost a friend. Gone. She's not gone. She's not lost. I needed to calm down. The Seiko I was friends with wasn't gone. She hadn't been lost. Regardless of what, whether or not I was able to return her feelings, I owed her at least a thank you. Seiko, I'm Seiko must have been pretty deep in regret by that point. I needed to get back to her. I needed to let her know that I would still stand by her. I was suddenly distracted by the sound of dripping water nearby. It was, as, it was as if someone had left a faucet on, but only just, and it was slowly spilling out onto the floor. But where was it? It sounded close, yet there was no sign of running water anywhere I could see. I had a bad feeling about this. All I knew was, it was close. Oh no. Oh no. Like really close. Wait, no. It couldn't be. I looked down at my feet and I gasped. Ugh! An unpleasant looking black fluid was running down my thighs and pooling on the floor beneath my feet, and it wasn't stopping. Ew, what the hell? What is this? Ugh! The darkening. I hesitantly collected a bit of it on my finger and studied it. It wasn't blood. It was almost tar-like and consistently. Consistency, smooth and vicious. And it seemed to be faintly glowing as well. Why, why is something like this coming out of my body? I went to wipe my finger on my skirt and shift it in place, only to lose my footing and fall backwards, landing hard on my rear. I put my hands on the sides of my head, closed my eyes, and screamed. I reached my limit. I just wanted all this to be over. But try as I might to shut out the world, the world was determined not to be ignored. It was like heaven and earth were moving all around me. Ow, ow. I felt dizzy. It was like my soul and my body were separated, and I became acutely aware of my own mass. I started obsessing over it. I was so heavy. My, my head and 
particular, the human cranium weighs about 5 kilograms and I could feel every last gram straining my neck muscles. It was hurting my back. What's happening? I'm losing consciousness. Can't open my eyes. Oh no. All the blood in my body came rushing up to my head. Why was this happening? I could feel the blood vessels in my face pressing against my skin. I couldn't see blood behind my eyelids. I could see blood. It hurts! It hurts so much! The blood, the blood just kept coming! It wouldn't stop! It felt as if my blood vessels, my eyes, my whole head could burst at any moment! Somebody please save me! Seigo! Be careful. Be careful, you're about to fall into the valley of past and future memories. Just as my last vestiges of consciousness were fading, I heard a little girl's voice, but I was in pain. I was weighed down. I couldn't open my eyes. If you wish, if you wish to save your friend, you'll need to overcome fate itself. What, what are you saying? The heaviness in my head grew at an alarming rate, and I heard a tearing sound behind my ears. It was the sound of a major blood vessel breaking wide open. I was certain I was going to die, but then the pain and dizziness simply vanished. I had the sensation of a faint shimmering before my eyes. And I wondered if I could open them now. Slowly and, slowly and carefully, I relaxed the muscles that were so forcibly and fearfully holding my eyelids shut. Ugh. What? Where am I? Looks like her house. So, this isn't Heavenly Host. I knew exactly where I was. I'd seen this image a million times before. I seen it just this morning with Seiko. This is my house. What? Huh? Am I really home? Was it all a dream, maybe? <laughs> yeah, okay. Mom! Mom! I'm home! So something <laughs> Something wasn't right. My field of vision was low to the ground and everything around me looked much larger than it should. What's going on? Naomi! Neko Moratte Kitazo Now Yuki? Naomi, guess what? I brought you a cat! It says <gasps> Is that her dad? It's gonna say, Dad, Dad, Dad. Oh, 
可愛がってあげてくれよ。You've always been so mature watching the house all by yourself when we're away. Come on, pet it. よかったわね、ナオミ。Isn't she great, Naomi? Does like all the whole family start with ends? There's Naomi, Natsumi, and now now Naoki. あ、お母さん。Mom? この子がいれば。Now you have someone to keep you company. お父さんもお母さんも仕事でいつも遅くなってごめんね。あなたがいい子で本当に良かったわ。Sorry, we're always so so late coming home from work, sweetie. It's so nice that we can trust you, though. この猫がいれば寂しくないよな。ごめんな。I am really sorry, but now you won't be lonely anymore, right? Yamete, stop this. May wa, ie no niya o sento shita ri, modotte kita ri, hanbun hanashigai no neko datta. So, May would spend half her time indoors and the other half in the backyard, as if she were out to pasture or something. It may not have been much land, but that was her territory, and she rarely ventured outside of it. ある時、私は次の日も帰りが遅いというお母さんたちにぐずって、メイを抱えてちょっとだけ遠くに家出をしたことがあった。Once I was so upset that my parents were going to be late coming home from work again that I scooped up May and ran away from home for a little while. Papa, Mama, I hate you. Stop it. Oh no, 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 no! I have a feeling I know where this is going, and I'm not gonna be happy. It's because you're here, May. Because you're here, Mama, Papa, and Mama don't think they have to come home. It's your fault, you know. Shit. Ara ara, どうしたのナオミ？そんなに泣いちゃって。メイちゃんとどこ行ってたの？ Oh no. Hey, Naomi, what's wrong? Why are you crying? Where did you and May run off to? I'm sorry, May. I don't want us to be apart. I said a really mean thing to you, May. I'm so sorry. Now, now, it's all right, Naomi. Now, now, it's all right, Naomi. May will always be there for you. She loves you, you know. And she can sense exactly how you feel, and she's very understanding. So, for a while, she disappeared. May was suddenly not there anymore. Okay, it wasn't long after that that May ran away. I was crying, but I was looking for her every day. But she didn't come back to my house. At least it was a runaway and not like hit by a car or Naomi just abandoned her or no, I don't anything dealing with cats. I have no tolerance for at all. Like no, cats are my life. Anybody who mistreats cats are immediately on my shit list. I don't care. I searched for her every day through teary eyes, but in the end, she never did come home. 残念だね。猫も気まぐれなところがあるからな。It's such a pity. I guess even cats get strange ideas in their heads from time to time. Ah, my mouse! 違うの。That wasn't it. Uh oh. せっかくのお友達だったのにね。And you two were such good friends too. I did this. 新しいお友達ができるよ
頑張って忘れようね。But you'll make a new friend in no time. You just need to put this out of your mind and move on. メイちゃんは優しいから、私の前からいなくなったんだ。It's because May was so understanding and kind-hearted that she disappeared from my life. 私があんなこと言わなければよかったんだ。If only I hadn't said what I said to her. Come back, please, May. May, John. あなたは変わらないわね。You never change, do you? お母さん。Mom. お母さんどこにいるの。Mom, where are you? But I hear something chirping. She's not here. Naomi. What? Naomi. Seiko. 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 Seiko, 大丈夫。探してたんだよ。さっきはごめん。Um, if that's Seiko, she's looking a little uh dark today. Seiko, Seiko, you all right? I've been looking all over for you. I'm so sorry about before. No, 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 私には分かった。She didn't respond, but it, she didn't have to. This is definitely Seiko. よく見えないよ。顔もっと見せて。I can't, I can't see you very well. Come a little closer, please. Let me see your face. 私は近寄り、床に座っている聖子の体に頭を乗せてぎゅっと抱きしめた。I drew in towards Seiko. Who was sitting on the ground and rested my head on her shoulder, then wrapped my arms around her. I still couldn't see her face. I thought it might be because of the dim lighting in the room. But no. But no, that wasn't it. Something was very wrong here. Seiko wasn't moving an inch, and that's when I realized. Her skin was cold. She's dead. Wait, I'm where was I? Wait, where was I? Wait. Wait, where was I? Was I at home, or was this heavenly host? The last thing I remembered was frantically trying to find her again. I could smell incense from somewhere far off, and I finally realized that this wasn't reality. I am so confused. No, this person sitting per perfectly still on the floor, not saying a word. This wasn't Seiko. So who was it? <gasps> It's a spirit, spirit, but a little bit. Within the unyielding darkness, I knew that whoever it was taking Seiko's shape was coming towards me. She's here. She's right next to me. I can feel her breath. I can sense her presence. Who are you? Your friend. Your 
I'm your friend with the broken neck, remember? What? What? <laughs> this is the future where you make me die. <sighs> no! No! Why did you leave me by myself back there after we finally managed to get back together, too? I was so worried that I hurt you. So worried. And that's why things turned out this way. No, don't say that! Fuck. As I lay there stricken with grief, I heard the footsteps of a child approach. I looked up and saw a little girl with a red dress standing over me. Fuck you. Fuck you! Fuck you! Do you want to save your friend no matter what it takes? Who? What are you? I'm the one who controls the fate of this world. I had no clue what she meant by that. Maybe she's a fucking lunatic! And that you should not trust her! But I remember that she'd been giving me advice the whole time. Okay. She had a different air about her than the other spirits around the school building. I felt like maybe she was on my side. I want to save her. Please, if there's some way to do it, tell me how. I'll give you another chance to remember. Think hard. Well, you've just seen our events from your past, which is also the future through which your spirit now passes. In other words, this isn't the first time that you've experienced this sequence of events. But you already knew that, didn't you? <sighs> this sort of thing doesn't happen. It should have sounded like complete nonsense to me. But I didn't say a word. I just nodded. They were only fragments, but nonetheless, I was seeing crystal clear visions of what I can only assume was my first time experiencing these events. That sense of deja vu I've been feeling wasn't just some crazy delusion or misidentified nerve impulse in my brain. It was real. Then you've also already seen the trigger event from which your despair originated. So now you fight against this fated demise. Oh god. OH GOD! <laughs> oh no. Oh no, 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 no. When I came back to my senses, I found myself standing in the hallway on the third floor of the school building. I'm gonna, you know, save real quick.